Hey guys, how's it going? Freya here again from Tools and Gadgets and today we have the 9 best case for the iPhone 16 Pro Max starting with the most ultra thin case that we have going to the most rugged 360 protection case to protect your iPhone 16 Pro Max so yeah, let's go ahead and start from the ultra thin that we have so we have here the Banks Armor Tint so this retails for $45.99 over at Amazon so what I love about this guys is that it's ultra thin. It's like holding your phone naked. And it has a mag clap here, a mag clap 2.0. So that's their branding for their new MagSafe magnets here. So it's really strong, guys. As I have tested in my previous video, it's really strong compared to the version one. So just be sure if you have one of these cases, guys, to not ever drop them like greater than six feet, I think. Because to tell you honestly, guys, yeah, I have dropped my phone, my 16 Pro Max using this case, and I couldn't see any dent with the case. And my phone is perfectly scratch free as well. So that's probably around three feet, I guess. Yeah, you know, when I was grabbing my phone from my side pocket and it fell on the ground, it really put protect my iPhone 16 Pro Max with this bank armor tin from Banks. Yeah, so I highly suggest this, guys, if you want to go for the most protection with the ultra thin feel. And next, we have the Pitaka here. So as you can see, I think you have seen this a lot on Facebook. So the one thing that I like about this, guys, is it's still ultra thin. As you can see, it's really thin and same as the Banks armor tin. I don't advise you dropping it above the three feet because, yeah, you never know. That it's such an ultra light, ultra thin case that there's hardly any protection but i think just for the cosmetic protection and if you're using a spigen like me i'm using a spigen tempered glass protection screen protector with this guys with the pitaka case the screen protector is slightly uh, elevated it's higher than the side here the side protection which is different from the banks armor tint here the edge here is slightly raised up to form a flat feel with a, even if you have a thick uh, tempered glass screen protector it's not protruding protruding the screen protector is not protruding compared to this so if you're buying this the pitaka here i highly suggest you use a thinner uh, tempered glass or that silicon screen protectors and yeah moving on we have the armor pro case here from banks as well so by the way guys banks this was sent to me for a review yeah shout out to banks thank you for that and by the way guys the pitaka here is the camera edges here is slightly sharp not compared to the banks the banks is not sharp at all and you have that grippy feel the texture also the pitaka but i noticed that the banks has more uh grain to it feel than the pitaka the pitaka is just super smooth finish not the same as the banks where the kevlar here is slightly like protruding so that you could feel the grain which makes it a more like anti-slip feel to it and the armor pro here guys have air cushions here the air shocks as they call it here on the side yeah it has a 360 degree uh, air shocks there on the sides and they're using a dupont kevlar with this cases that they have so moving on we have the spigen case here so this is really a generic case i could say this is the spigen hybrid case for the iphone 16 pro max so the camera touch controls here is slightly raised same as the banks it's slightly raised as well i have been using the hybrid case since my iphone 15 pro max and it had really protected my uh, iphone 15 pro max and now i moved to the 16 pro max and so that's why i still bought this as well but then when i feel like i'm going to an event or something i want to make that expression or feeling that my phone is or my phone looks elite with this cases this two cases right here but the protection is not that uh, protected well protected compared to the uh, case here that has a protection on the side so yeah this i think this retails for around 16 dollars and the armor pro here here from banks retails for $52.99 over at Amazon so yeah let's move on next we have the shield on case here so you might be thinking why am I even uh, interested or why I even bothered to buy this case this case guys I bought this for my wife so she liked the, the wallet feel case so guys I have been buying my wife this shield on case since the iPhone 13 Pro Max 
because before the iPhone 13 Pro Max, we've been buying a different brands of this wallet case here. And we noticed just a few months after we she's using the case, the leather started to detach from the base. So this one, guys, we don't really have any problems with this, the shield on case. And what's nice about this, guys, is that it doesn't come with a strap anymore. Well, it does come with a strap, but then the one that I keep on buying for my wife, for my wife is that this one, the one that doesn't come with a strap because it comes with a magnet. So as you can see, it's not going anywhere. And inside, guys, you have a compartment here for your cash. And you have three compartments here for your card. And when you open it, guys, the front cover here also has a magnet at the back. So you could use it like that. So uh, yeah, I highly suggest this as well. If you're into this wallet uh, case thing, this retails for around $30 at Amazon. So yeah, let's go ahead and introduce to you this poetic case. So this poetic case, guys was sent for me from Poetic as well for the purpose of making a video, previous video. So this one, guys, is their neon versions here. The only different about this too is that this one has a ring stand here and it also acts as like a magnet so you could stick this in the refrigerator. And this one doesn't come any ring magnet but it has a camera protection here at the back. And this one here, guys, has a foam to it so that it wouldn't uh, scratch your camera lenses. You could close it just like that and you could use this outdoors as well so it gives you that protection for your ca camera lenses and this neon case from poetic guys comes with a air shocks here so you can see there's three air shocks here and here as well on the other side you have six here and here at the back as well you have five there so this guys the poetic case guys is drop tested to about 20 feet which is really cool so if you drop this around three-story high building it still survives and it has a protruding rubber here at the back so this is a two-piece item here you have the soft tpu here which is the second layer of protection for your iphone the first layer of protection here is this back plate here it is a hard plastic so this attaches to the soft tpu just like that and it snaps perfectly so you can see and you can open this guy so currently my wife has been using this a lot because she would be watching a video she's on break from her work and she would just stand it horizontally just like this and we're even doing a video call when she's using this or you could do it use it uh, watching landscape videos as well so here on the other uh, neon case guys you couldn't really do that but then when you open this this acts like a stand as well so you could watch landscape videos just like that but when you're using it for like video calling it's not really that advisable because it's not the, it doesn't have that 45 degree angle not the same as this neon with the ring so yeah this both retails for around 20 dollars in amazon so yeah it does give you that well protection without higher price tag so which is really good guys and we're here with a revolution from poetic case as well so this was sent to me for the purpose of making a review as well on my previous video okay guys so this revolution case by poetic here guys i'm saying 360 it has 360 degree protection because it comes with two frames here the other frame doesn't come with a screen protector and the other comes with a screen protector here so when you snap this on you get that 360 degree protection over there and it has really good height in terms of the camera touch controls here see it has also the same height as the height of my thumb and also this comes with a built-in stand guys so whatever you're doing FaceTime calls or watching horizontal videos or portrait videos, you could do that as well. And if you're watching a landscape videos, you could do that as well. And you would be able to retract this. It clips onto the back and you have the camera protector here at the back. So you're just going to slide it all the way to the side and to expose your camera. So if you want to protect your camera, you could just go ahead and close it and your camera is perfectly uh, secure. It also has a air shocks here at the back at each tip here guys you have that same air shock protection and at the bottom you have a usb-c cover here to protect your usb-c and the back plate here guys you have that soft foamy feel to it so this retails at amazon for i think about 30 dollars and you will get both of this frame here the one that doesn't come with a screen protector and the one that comes with a screen protector 
for that 360 degree uh, security. But the only downside of this, it doesn't come with a MagSafe here, which I think if you're taking this uh, to the extreme, like outdoor sports, you wouldn't be bringing a MagSafe wallet and sticking it at the back because it might get lost, which makes sense. And for the last part, guys, this is Ghost Tech Nautical 4. So this offers a 360 degree protection and it also boasts up to 20 feet protection up to an hour. So yeah, I have used this when I was uh, going to the water park with my kids. And it comes with a clip to it, a belt clip. Because that's what I said, guys. You could use this practically anywhere since it offers 360 degree protection. Whether you're going skiing, whether your job is in a harsh environment, yeah, you could use this. So it, the belt clip is not cheap at all. It's really a sturdy feel to it. Yeah, so recently I have been using the Ghost Tech brand because I used the Temden case before and I wasn't really impressed because after about an, two hours, I think, in the water park there's a small liquid that was able to sip in inside of the case but i didn't worry a lot because the iphone 16 pro max is water resistant up to a couple of feet deep and that was just a little water that sip in inside but this one guys not a drop of water was in the case was inside the case this was pretty good the ghost technological 4 so this guy's retails for about 59.99 at amazon and as what you can see here this is not touch sensitive you can use this to slide on the settings of your touch camera touch control so you could just press it to capture a video or to capture a photo and here as you can see there's a shock protection here on the sides so it's not in the inside it's on the outside because it's waterproof your phone has to be snug inside really tight to get that a uh, waterproof protection and here at the back you have a hard lens here so it's not glass it's hard plastic and it also comes with a magsafe as well because yeah if you want to go to a water park why not bring a magsafe wallet with you <laughs> i'm just kidding yeah it's there if you need it yeah but it's not that strong see it's there's not even a phone inside and it's not holding oh yeah so it is holding now, but it's not that strong, guys. All right, so that's about it. So if you're asking what would be my daily like phone case that I would use when I'm out of the house or well, yeah, just my daily case, I would highly go with the Banks Armor Tent here because it has a nice texture to it, a grip as well. It wouldn't slide in your hand. And it has a, basically, it has a really good feel to it when I'm holding it. So yeah, that's on the ultra light case side, but then, if I'm going to the water park and all, I'll be using the Ghost Tech Nautical 4. And when I'm going mountain biking, yeah, I highly suggest the Revolution from Poetic Case. It's not only very durable, but it's really cheap, just for $30, which is really a bang for your money. And if you want a medium case feel, I highly suggest the Banks here, the Armor Pro, though it is on the higher price range for $52.99, but you get that nice texture at the back and nice feel to it when you're holding it and also because yeah i love the way that they place their brand here and the camera edge here is not that sharp so here in the pitaka case guys it's really sharp <laughs> i don't know it's not to the point that it would uh injure your hand or cut your hand but yeah it's sharp so it has that awkward feel when you're putting it or placing this in a table or a countertop yeah it has that awkward feel to it not like the same as the banks where it's not really a sh it doesn't come with a sharp edge so yeah that's about it guys so yeah once again i'll be putting all of the cases in the link in the description box below if ever you're interested in purchasing one and also i'll be putting them in the comment section below and once again if if you have any more questions guys don't hesitate to write them in the comments section and i'll do my best to answer all of them so once again guys thank you for watching tools and gadgets see you in our next one bye